Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading and this is your June the 1st to June the 7th of 2020. This is for Pisces Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. So Cross Watchers, if I describe someone here and you know that it is not you, so please, then this is not you, okay? Just because you are connecting with a Pisces, you're going to assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't, okay? This is not a personal reading. So, I don't know you personally, but you know yourself better. So, Pisces, if you, I describe someone here and you know that this is not you, then it is not you, okay? Just because you are connecting with a Pisces, you're going to assume that this is you. Please don't, okay? All right, so Pisces, if you resonate with the reading, then congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to the reading after a week or two. For time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. <coughs> for those new in this channel, you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online. What I mean by that is when I do live reading, you can ask me a question and that will be free of charge. Our Instagram is already up and running. This coming June, you're going to know your lucky number and lucky color. Pisces, let's start with your reading. Um, Tres de Oros is here. So someone is kind of, let's say, wanted to know something. So someone is playing CIA, low key. Or in this person is trying to check on, you know, some information, Caballo de Oros. So, because they know that there are some challenges in this connection. So, someone is trying to talk to different people, probably watching tarot, you know, wanted to find out something. Latin Plaza. <coughs> I'm sorry. You might be connecting with Sagittarius or has a Sagittarius placement on their chart or you have a Sagittarius placement on their chart, but your patience will be tested. So it could be you or the other person. So whoever this is, um, cross watchers, if you feel like you are the focal point in this connection, so be it. And Pisces, if you feel like you are on the cross watcher side, that's okay. All right. Um, I'm not reading which side you at. I am reading the energy. So temperance is here. Let's try So someone put the other person in a pedestal. Um, someone was. Um, you could also be connected with an Aquarius or an Aquarius placement on their chart, or you have an Aquarius placement, but someone put in a pedestal, and someone is acing, um, whatever the situation that they are in right now. Los Enamorados, so you also might be connected with a Gemini or has a Gemini placement on their chart or you have a Gemini placement because this connection, someone knows. Someone is kind of also like asking different people what what is this? Is this um, a soulmate connection? Because someone feels like it, right? Nueva de Espadas is here. Um, someone is incurring a sleepless or having a sleepless night, incurring um, insomnia, which the other person is, let's say, uh, having also a bad dream, worried. I don't know how worried you are, but there are um, some discomfort here. El Diablo, you might be connecting with a Capricorn or has a Capricorn placement on their chart or you have a Capricorn placement on their chart but there's a little extra here a little extra that made this connection a little though challenging I'm dust the copas but someone just wanted to have an exchange of heart uh, an exchange of energy with this person right a loving connection right not the others but the other person is busy with work probably um busy with pentacles busy with something one thing's for sure this connection is not the first priority but the pentacles um since the autos is here there will be an equal give and take that would be in the future but as of the moment this person is again busy with work 
so I'm not sure Pisces where you are heading to but I think you have a specific goal that you really want to do achieve as well we're in um, the me first is your priority um, Jack of clubs is here and king of so someone this is a very good connection um this is a match king and queen of pentacles right you could be a power couple as well um jack of jack of clubs so this connection someone wanted to uh, make this connection move in a normal pace um but the other person is just like what i mentioned busy with gaining pentacles. I want another Capaya de Oros because this is the challenge and the challenge is someone will have to wait. Not for a long time though. Is there El Methanio here? No. Um, not for a long time though but you you have to wait um, and the nine of diamonds is here. You have to wait for the happiness but it will come because there will be a give, um, give and take here. An equal give and take. Again your patience will be tested because seven of swords is here someone will you know cannot be stopped someone also is a little you know protective of someone then queen of um spade is here um someone will not be someone will be a little too goal oriented if i may say right oh what's this okay let's tell ya now there will be a hard time because you put the person in a pedestal again could be your uh, other person there will be a hard um situation that you need to surpass but it will build a gap or build a bridge between you both because you know you're probably correct because there, there is a soulmate connection in here there will be some challenges in this connection that's what i'm seeing with regard to the card but you you're gonna surpass this all right this is your reading pisces if you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me you can contact me at babaylandtv at gmail.com click the subscribe button smash that notification bell and comment down below and very interactive thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you in the next reading goodbye